Good morning, Miss Hal. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. I'm Amber. I'm going to be one of the nurses taking care of Brandy. Is that what you're calling her? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's a very pretty name. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be one of the nurses taking care of her. You're going to see me do a lot of listening with my stethoscope and just feeling um, all over. I'm going to be checking pulses and things like that. You'll also see other people kind of coming in and out to do different things. But how are you feeling right now? I'm doing okay. It was a I'm rough morning for you. A rough morning for you. Um, so we'll be kind of checking on you too to see if there's anything that we can get you and, and offer. We want you to be comfortable and Thank you. I'm okay here. And things like that. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I may um, slip in and um, check a pulse there, but no, you're fine. It probably feels very comforting for her to have to have your hand there. So that's actually a really good thing. Any questions about about anything before I start doing a, do okay. a list and stuff like that? Right now, from what I can see, everything looks really stable. I'm going to listen and do a more in-depth assessment, and that will give me more information. But right now, from just glancing, everything looks stable. Okay. And I'll see the doctors later? Yeah, they'll make rounds in a little bit, and they'll talk to you about a plan of care and um, a probable course of stay. Now, that can change depending on, depending on what's going on with the baby. But they will go over with you a basic plan of care and kind of what to expect, how long to expect to be here, and some of the differences that that you'll see here that you probably wouldn't have had if baby had have come to your room with you okay okay <clears throat> so again interrupt me anytime you've got a question or something else that's just um that pops into your mind and we'll be perfectly happy to talk about that thanks okay what a pretty baby she is pretty she looks a lot like her dad oh really <clears throat> yeah Fontanelle is soft and flat. Got some periorbital edema. A little bit lethargic. Now, Mom, I'm going to try to keep her as warm as possible while I do all this stuff, but okay. I do need to be able to see her, her chest movement quite a bit. So you'll see me lift up her onesie and, and move things around a little bit. Temperature is 97.3. The baby's just a little bit um, on the cool side, so I'm going to try to do what I need to do kind of quickly, mm -hmm. and then um, cover her back up mm -hmm. and try to try to keep her as warm as possible. Sometimes babies who aren't feeling well do get cold. Lung sounds are clear all over. Bowel sounds are present times four. Mild abdominal distension. So mom, were you able to nurse her? Um, no, not at all. I started pumping. Have they better? Anything? No, they haven't. Um, if you've noticed, we have an IV running right here that goes into a little vein into her arm, and that's going to give her some glucose. So that same thing that the food would have given her, either from formula or from your colostrum. And babies who aren't feeling really well sometimes um, get choked easily while they eat. So that's something I'm going to keep an eye on, and whenever she starts to feel better, then we will be able to let you nurse her or offer her a bottle. But right now, we're going to hold off on that. Okay. 
Baby's cool to touch. Pulses two to three plus. Hypercyanosis. Why are her feet blue? Well, a lot of times newborns have colder and a little bit bluer tinged hands and feet. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Sometimes it's because they're a little bit cold. Sometimes it's just because their blood's a little bit thick and can't get into those tiny little vessels down here. It will resolve on its own, um, usually in a day or so. Cap refill three seconds. And mom, if you'll notice, I have a screen up here that gives me a lot of different information. It tells me what her heart rate is, tells me what her respiratory rate is, and also um, how much oxygen is getting down to the tiny little spaces in her hands and feet, which gives me a good idea as to how well that her lungs are bringing in um, enough oxygen and if I need to do anything to treat that. It okay, looks okay. So it does. Everything looks reassuring right now. So you'll see me look up there at that screen quite a bit. Okay. Okay, but if you hear an alarm or a ding, 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 I don't want you to be alarmed. Sometimes it just makes a funny sound. I'll let you know if it's something that we need to be concerned about. Okay. So right now all of that looks good. I'm going to step out and glance at the orders that the physician had already left to see what we can get started on. Any questions that you have for me before, no, before I step right outside? Really cold. Okay. <clears throat> and, and that's something that we're going to stay on top of and we're going to, and we're going to try to manage and get her, get her nice and warm. Okay. okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Ellen? Yes. Hi, Amber. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm caught up on charge duties. May I help you? Well, I was just looking over this order set. Um, looks like we've got labs and antibiotics and... Hi, Mom. I'm of course, Ellen. Yeah. And strict I just came in to offer Amber some help this morning. Would you mind um, gathering those antibiotics and then I will okay. call, <clears throat> excuse me, call lab to see if they can go ahead and come and draw those labs before we get those started. Okay. I've got anthocyanin 125 um, milligrams every 12 hours and then gent once a day 10 milligrams per kilo and baby's weight is 2.8 today. Okay. Okay, so I'll be more than happy to check those with you. Okay after you pull those, but that would be right, a so great help. Ampicillin 125, let me write those down <coughs> just to make sure I'll, and then I'll come back and compare them to the lab, to okay. the orders. So Sounds it's AMP good. 125, IV every 12, and she has not received any antibiotics at all. This is her first step. Yeah, just got she report on her. 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose, IV every day, and her weight is 2.8 kilos, and you're calling lab? Yes. Okay, thanks, okay. I'll get them ready. Come in. Hey, good morning. Hey, Bernice, how are you doing? Hey, Amber, doing well, doing well. Do you have a little bit of free time that you might could help? I sure can. Good morning, Miss Howell. I'm Bernice. Good morning. I'm one of the staff nurses. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Brandy. Brandy. Oh, thank you, Brandy. Bernice is going to um, help help us a little bit, just kind of get get things going a little bit faster. Would you be okay time wise to help me get stay on top of vitals about every ten minutes or sure, so? Like When's the next set due? Uh, about five more minutes. Okay. Cool. I also yeah. need a urine, um, just a plain UA, and a culture. Okay. So could you, could you maybe have time to cath her super fast? I sure can. And then I'll can call her. lab for the other, for these other um, labs. See if we can get them, see if we can get them down for that. I'm going to take one last quick lesson before I step out and and call lab. I'm also going to double check that IV rate. Um, I've got D5W with quarter normal at 6.5. Good. Miss Howell, is I, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. Have you I'm had anything to eat this morning? Her. Um, I had a little bit before I came down. Okay. Are you, could you use anything to drink? Um, 
If you have some, that would be great. Apple juice, orange juice? Or juice? Something. Okay. Apple juice would be great. Okay. Good. How's your pain? It's okay. They gave me soap before I came down. Okay. Very good. So I'm okay. What, what is Mom, it? one other thing that I wanted to tell you that we'll be checking a lot is you'll see me kind of pressing around this IV site. Mm -hmm. they, I know you've had an IV with um, your delivery and stuff like that. And with adults, IV stay in a lot better, a lot longer, especially with um, with nice healthy moms but with babies because their veins are a little bit smaller sometimes they come out real easily so you'll see me kind of pressing on this quite a bit just to make sure that that's okay i'm going to take a quick listen o2 sats 93 94 Baby, Brandy, take some deep breaths for me. Hey, hey. I'm back. Got you a little bit of orange juice there. Do you know what you got my cow? What you sure, sure I'll explain that to you. What we want to do is get urine from her bladder. Okay. Baby's be starting to have some mild intercostal retractions. Mm -hmm. Mild grunting. You take a little tube and put it up into her bladder. Is she turning okay? Mom, um, it, you know that number I was telling you about that tells me about if her, if she's getting enough oxygen everywhere that she needs to. That's gone a little bit low, nothing to be alarmed about, but what I'm going to do is put a little nasal cannula on her nose just to get her a little extra whiff of oxygen. Okay? So nothing to be concerned about right now. I just wanted to let you know what we were doing with that. Hi Amber, I'm back with the antibiotics. Has labs, did they come and draw on the labs yet? Not yet. I'm getting ready to put a cannula on and call to see if they want to add a blood gas to that. Okay. Apply nasal cannula half a liter. I'm going to move you out just a little bit right here so I can get to okay. this side. Okay. I'll tell you exactly what we're doing. Uh -huh. She's got that cannula on right now that's going to help her breathe a little bit okay. easier. Okay. And her head's up a little bit. Good. And she, there we go. Remember you want to have a set of vitals or we go ahead and pack it? If you'll get a super uh, quick set of vitals, I'm going to call the physician to see if they want to add a blood gas with those other labs. Dr. Brown, this is Amber in the NICU, and I'm taking care of um, Brandy Howell in bed space four. I wanted to give you a quick update. Baby is overall pretty stable right now, but has started a little bit of um, mild retractions and a little bit of grunting. I've placed her on a nasal cannula at half a liter, currently satting 94, 95%. And I wanted to see if perhaps you wanted to add a blood gas to those, to those other labs. Yeah, we probably need to add a blood gas. Um, what's your respiratory rate right now? Right now, I'm at 48. And her heart rate? Um, 135. And is that trending up or down? A little bit up. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do a portable chest X-ray. Okay. And um, did you say you had her on some oxygen? I do. A half a liter, currently citing 95. Well, let's uh, contract that oxygen to keep her pulse ox greater than 95%. Okay. And is she under the radiant warmer? Because it's anticipated they call it, it was a little mouth that was a little bit cold. Yes, that is correct. Right now, our um, last temp, I think, was 97.4. Is that correct, Ms. Pritchard? What was our last temp? I'm sorry? What was our last temp? Um, 97, 97, 97. Okay, 97.3 was our last temp. I was going to keep an eye on that and then switch her over to a radiant warmer. Is that okay? Okay, yes, I think that'd be a good idea. Okay, so let me read this back to you. I've got a chest x-ray, get a blood gas, maintain oxygen, sat greater than 95%, and transition over to radiant warmer. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. anything else? I think that's it. We're going to get these labs drawn and get our antibiotics going, and I'll let you know if there's any changes. Thank you. Bye -bye. I'm go ahead and get that okay. okay, so now I'm going to call respiratory. 
Hey, Christy, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Who is this? This Amber? is, yes, this is Amber down in Nikki, bed space four. I've got a little baby, um, Brandy Howell, and I wanted to see if perhaps I could convince you to get me a blood gas, but I need some other labs with it. Is there any way we could get that in one stick and save this baby a little bit of, a little bit of discomfort? Oh, sure. I'll be as soon as I can. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye. Baby only has to be stuck once. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, got that urine. Okay, great. Good. Thank you so Very much. Uh -huh. So you're in a scent. Tuck her back together here, keep her warm. Lab has been called, they're on their way. So as soon as um Excuse me, respiratory has been called. They're going to grab all our labs for us. So as soon as respiratory gets here, then we'll be able to start our antibiotics. Mom, the reason why we're waiting on that is um, we want to be able to get a good, um, a good baseline as to what baby's doing right now before we give any medicine so that we can better be able to tell how that medicine, how those antibiotics are helping to see if that's really treating our infection as well as we would like it to. So that's why I'm waiting on, on labs to be drawn before we get those antibiotics started. Amber, have you gotten a blood sugar lately when you get a blood sugar? I haven't. We do need a blood sugar. I'll do that. Okay, great. We can do that with labs. Ellen, would you mind checking on the respiratory see about how long they're going to be so okay. we can go ahead and get that going? I will give them a call. Okay. And I'm just going to take another quick listen. Okay. she getting warmer? Looks like that oxygen's helping. Those um, little muscles that we're having to work a little bit harder to breathe, it looks like that's relaxing a little bit. So that's very reassuring. Hi, this is Ellen calling Respiratory. Is this Christy? Yes, this is Christy. Amber. Hi, Christy, this is Ellen. Well, I'm working with Amber up here in 315 NICU. Bed actually, four. it's a little bit Just lower. Just want to check on the so we'll and to put the her blood gas into a different a bed. Brain That's going to give out. heat from above. Yes, we'll and we're going to take her clothes off okay, for that. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, so that the heat can really get to her because the clothes will actually be a barrier for that. So we're going to switch her out bed so that we can give a little bit of heat and be able to better maintain. Um, her temperature. Any questions with that? Okay. Increasing O2 to 0.75. Hello. Hey, Chrissy, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Good. Would you be able to get that um, blood gas and the rest of our labs for us real fast? Yes. That would be great. I think where do, um, somebody had already pulled all of those that whole kit for us with the labs. Let me see where that is. Okay. Here they yeah. are. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so mom, now that those um, labs are drawn, we're just going to switch her bed and then we're going to get her antibiotics started. Actually, I'm going to come to this side and how are you feeling? I'm okay. You're feeling you know, her taken care of. Okay. If you would like to put your hands underneath her, that might be a good chance for you to be able to um, give her a little bit of comfort, and I'll help you. Make sure that your wheelchair is locked. And we will hold Brandy. I'll be switch these beds out. All right, you got that beautiful little girl? I think so. Okay, I'm pulling the bed. You guys okay? I think so. All right, here comes the other bed. You want to come forward just a step? And we'll get her in the bed and then we'll get the bed straightened up. There you go, beautiful job. Okay. Beautiful job, Mom. I think I'm okay. And now, feel this heat. We've got a heat. Okay. okay. 
Feel the heat? Now we're going to get her warm. Okay. So right now we're going to go ahead and take her clothes off like we had talked about. And Amber, I saw Respiratory come in and get their gas. Did they get labs for you as well? They did. They did. Would you be able to um, get those antibiotics started after we check that dose? Yes. I've got Bernice here. I'll check a dose with her while you're sure. busy there. All right, Bernice, we're giving genomycin 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose. Good. Baby's weight is 2.8 kilos. 2.8 kilos. Okay. 2.8 times 10. Okay. 28 milligrams uh -huh. genomycin. Very good. Or brandy pal. Okay. And I'll be hanging that as a piggyback. Good. Then ampicillin, ampicillin, 125 milligrams, IV every 12. Okay. It comes 200 per one. Good. 200 milligrams per one. So I calculated 125 milligrams to be 0. 0.62. That looks perfect. You gonna give the amp first? Yes. Good. Okay. Anything else I can do? I check with Amber. Amber, we're okay with the antibiotics. I'm going to go ahead and get them started on the pump for you. Okay, great. Ampicillin is going to be given first and then genomycin. Yes, thank you. Genomycin could, I mean, ampicillin could be given on an IV syringe pump. We do not have an IV syringe pump, so therefore we're going to slow IV push. We have plenty of help for someone to stand here and do that. So I'm going to the site closest to the baby. Cleaning, 15 seconds. Air dry, 15 seconds. Attaching temp probe warmer, simulating that. I'm going to flush my site for patency. Blood flashback. Flushing a half a milliliter. And now putting my med on. Skin temp probe is on. Dialing to 37 degrees. O2 sat currently 94, 93, increasing to 1 liter. Mild intercostal retractions. Heart rate 134, respiratory rate 48 per monitor. Okay, ampicillin has been given slow IV push over 10 minutes. O2 sat now 95, responding to oxygen. Intercostal retractions resolving intermittently. Thank you, Ellen, for giving those antibiotics that sped all of this up a great deal. Not a problem. It's pretty slow out on the hall, so I'm glad I could come help. 
ampicillin is just about in, given the flush behind it. And then we're going to set the genomycin to go over one hour. Okay. How are you feeling, baby Brandy? Starting to feel a little bit better. I'm gonna take another temp, Mom, to see if this radiant warmer is starting to warm baby up. Ninety-eight two, good. great. That's good. Great. That's Those great. are good numbers for us to hear. That's Sounds good. like that that heat is is exactly what what she was needing. She's breathing better. Mm -hmm. Good. That seems to be a little bit easier. Um, sometimes babies just need a little bit of extra oxygen to um, to help them kind of get over get over that hump. The antibiotics are going to be the biggest thing that's going to help her though, and that's going to kill any infection that happens to be in her lungs or anywhere else. And um, as soon as that infection resolves, then I think you'll start to see her perk up and be able to keep her temperature up on her own without help from the rest of this heat. Okay. 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 Ampicillin is in and genomycin is running to be run over the next hour. Anything else I can do? I think that's it. I think right, I'm going to go to the desk and check on everybody else and just call if you need me. Okay, thanks so much for your help, I appreciate it. Last set of vital signs, heart rate's 133, O2 sat is 94, respiratory rate is 48, and blood pressure is 78 over 48.